What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Davis and today I'm gonna to bring you another review, but um, I just wanted to share with you guys, some of you guys might not know it if you're not friends with me on Facebook, but uh, I was involved in a pretty bad accident this week. Someone clotheslined me uh, on a bike trail on one of my electric skateboards and I went down pretty hard, broke my helmet, and I uh, got road rash on my back, but I'm still here on the channel making videos for you guys and uh, I spent most of the week on the couch and back and forth from my desk to uh, actually going out and flying some. Um, the first couple days I was pretty laid out, really, really uh, not sure how I was doing physically um, because I did break my helmet uh, when I hit the concrete. So um, other than, than the first initial shock of the accident, um, I seemed to be doing pretty good. So. Um, I did get checked out by EMS uh, at the site when it did happen, happened late at night, couldn't see, um, and the guys that did it were never caught, so uh, be careful out there, there's some strange, evil people out there, um, just be ready for anything if you're riding bikes, skateboards, or scooters, um, always wear a helmet, because that helmet saved my life, but I'm happy to still be here for you guys, because um, with that near-death experience, uh, a lot flashed in front of my eyes quickly. And the first thing I thought of was my partner and uh, my two kids. And I thought I might never see them again uh, down at that bottom of that ravine uh, in, in, a, in a dark setting. It was kind of terrifying. So um, again, I'm just super happy to still be here and sharing my experiences with you guys and um, always keeping it honest as always here on the channel um, that is that is my goal to, to make this hobby better for you guys and save you guys some money along the way in this process um, so I appreciate all the thank yous and kind notes that I got this week regarding that accident but um, on to the review today we're talking about the happy model larva X and we just reviewed this one yesterday, and this one is the iFlight Turbo B 136RS. Here's both of them side by side, and some of you guys might be considering both of these right now. Which one should I get? Um, the Larva X is a 2 to 3S little toothpick ripper. It's super awesome, by the way. Um, it's going to be a pretty good rating on this one because uh, it has a pretty good tune on here. This one might be a little bit better tune than this one. Uh, we're going to push this one to the limits today. I'm going to really, really um, give it some high throttle and, and try to trip out their tune and, and see how well it handles some high G's uh, and some of those freestyle maneuvers that this is supposed to be able to do. Um, I had the most fun flying it on a 3S battery. A 3S, uh, 300 milliamp and 450 milliamp seems to be the sweet spot for this quad with the Avon 2.5 Rush props on here. You can see those props a little closer up. They are super ultra durable. Probably the most durable micro brushless prop out there in the micro brushless kingdom. Um, we also tried the 3x2s, the new HQ props on this one. Those are also pretty durable as well. And uh, I had a great experience with this one. So if you would like a 4S Toothpick Pro Series type of quad, go ahead and go back and watch this video from yesterday. But today, it's all about the Larva X. So let me take you guys outside. Let's do a little ripping around with this one. And then uh, after that, we'll take a little spec check on it. And uh, I'll give you my final opinion about the Larva X. Here we go. All right, let's do some ripping, you guys. First, we're going to go into the Smart Audio. We're going to change it from 25 milliwatt power to 200 so I can get the best signal back to my goggles. I'm using the HDOs today with two Lumineer little right hand circular polarized stubby antennas so we'll see how those perform and I wanted you to see this this is the example of them not having beta flight set up correctly with motor stop checked on so when I come to 0% throttle the props come to a complete stop and the quads gonna do this terrible death tumble um, you want to make sure you have motor stop off and make sure you have air mode active so no air mode was active here and this was my first battery you're looking at the VTX there you can see my RSSI and there it tumbles and now I'm treed on my first battery so quick trip over to Lowe's to get a cherry picker and this was the tree that I decided to crash in today about a 70 foot um, some kind of tree but lots of thick coverage and I couldn't find it anywhere 
there it is finally after like an hour trying to get this thing down I finally get out of the tree now we're back to flying again so let's go ahead and continue on the fun I knew right away when my first battery that this was going to be a little ripper you can see the VTX down at the bottom left hand of the screen and the video you're watching across the full screen this is the recorded video from the VTX on board which is great it has an onboard VTX recorder which is awesome because you can make your videos a lot nicer for uploading to the internet without all the fuzz and it's not HD by any means but it's not 4k it's not 1080p probably but still it looks pretty good and this quad can take a hit did you see that that was a goalpost hit and we kept flying I want to go back again and try that power loop just barely squeezing through there loving that little victory loop on the way out now we're gonna do some big loops around these baseball field lights I love these big loops once I can get them set up going don't get dizzy you guys here we go one two three four I'm losing it five all right and that's called a knife edge loop you guys are learning new tricks on the channel here now we're gonna try to squeeze underneath this little uh, chain link fence there or chain there now along this chain link fence and there's that battery bounce on the top of the fence along a chain link fence it did seem to have some breakup you'll notice some breakup here and there in this baseball field and soccer area because of all the chain link fence and there's a lot of metal out here so um, one thing I was really happy about was how well this quad tracks the lines that I can get going at speeds phenomenal speeds inches off the ground and I tried to slide under that picnic table it didn't happen but you know you gotta go for those sometime you see it go for it no holding back and now we're gonna go back over top of this goal post here and let's try to do a few power loops and see how power loop worthy it is we're gonna keep going back around and around seems to handle a nice tight power loop easily it's much harder to do this with something like a 5 inch at this low to the ground so yeah it handles power loops just fine plenty of power in there on these motors now back low to the ground let's try a reverse transition and back the direction I came nice little knife edge with a roll in there transitioning back around little tree loop here over and under super nice it's really awesome and fun on the freestyle side of things this quad feels really loose the tune seems to be where it needs to be for me to really get wild on the sticks and you don't have to fly like this you guys you can fly nice and straight and behave yourself but you know I, I want to see if I can flip up this flight controller for you guys and uh, see if I can get it to kind of freak out or spaz out and there's the punch out you see some jello in there you see that jello happening on that full throttle punch out now leveling back off and I'm gonna do this huge dive under this tree and this is where sometimes the, the power whoops will kind of freak out and have a tumble they'll have what's known as washout and this quad didn't seem to have that so I'm gonna go back down here and back around back under the trees loving the lines I'm creating with this quad super fast tons of control lightning speed accuracy on the sticks I'm actually liking this quad a whole lot this is a lot of fun to fly this one and honestly I, I kept flying all the batteries in my bag I have about 30 batteries in my bag and uh, I just I was about to have too much video to go back home and edit for you guys now I'm gonna try to do a little light pole perch through the legs back over here to check out the volleyball field and this is where if you mess up this power loop you're going in the sand high stakes power loop made it back under nice let's go for another one by this tree handles power loops low to the ground really well back through my legs there and a victory roll let's try a power loop myself come on come on make it oh right into my leg ow that hurt now back out for one more battery I can't stand it I gotta go again loving the lines and the speed of this quad super fun to fly you guys if you find someone that has this quad fly it it's it's awesome it's really really awesome 
The Sailfly X was good, but this is even better. And a little knife edge across the field. Trying to get in there. Let's come up and over. Nice, back down to the street over here. Going for another power loop back under this tree. I love the punch out. It feels great on 3S. That's my preferred battery of choice. The 3S, 300 milliamp. Try to do a transmitter landing here. Didn't work out. Let's go back to the studio real quick. Let's go ahead and do the spec check. Today we have two to three S batteries on this quad. Don't try four because the 1103 motors might not handle it. 100 millimeter wheelbase and it is three millimeter unibody on the bottom with extra support struts down here, which is kind of nice. Happy Model branded motors and those are 1103 7000 kV motors with two bolts on top. You will have to bolt these motors down. We have Phillips head screws on the bottom. Not my favorite in the world, but they're easy to take on and off. FR Sky D8, Fly Sky Crossfire available, XRS XR, and we have DSM 2X also available for you Spectrum guys. My favorite props were the Avon Rush 2.5 inch props. Super durable. These are like skateboard wheels. Diamond 200 milliwatt VTX with DVR and 640 by 480 recording down to AVI video format. Two buttons here. One is the record button and your SD card slot is over here on this side. I did have some damage however. I broke the front end of my canopy right there. You can see it separated. Also a dipole with IPEX connector. I'm going to show you what antenna you should upgrade to at the end of this video. Plug and play motors on the bottom and the XT30 right there for max power coming out of the power system. Crazy B F4 Pro V3 flight controller and D8 SPI FR Sky receiver on mine with 10 amp ESCs. And I'm running the Runcam Nano V2 camera. That's my camera of choice right now over the Cadex Turbo EOS 2 camera that's out there on a lot of these micros. This is the one I like. And to bind this baby up, there is a button, they say, but I couldn't find it. So I did the bind underscore RX SPI, and it puts it into D8 binding mode. Make sure that you're binding it up in D8 inside your Tyrannus. You also get a set of 2.5 by 2.5 HQ props in the box to try out. Uh, I did not try those today. I stuck with the Rush. You also get an extra canopy in the box, which is nice. A screwdriver, some extra hardware, and the Happy Model strap, which I really don't care for this strap. It's, it's useless. They need to upgrade to some buckle style straps like you see here. Let's go ahead and put it on the scale here and weigh it. And I'm getting right about 51.5 grams dry weight and with the 3s 300 milliamp battery let's see what we get here just going to put it on the scale we're up to 76 let's see if i can get it right there 76.5 grams total takeoff weight and with the 3s 450 get you a longer flight time around three and a half minutes let's just move that out of the way it's going to get us up to around 93.5 two grams total takeoff weight and the antenna that i'm going to suggest today is going to be the furious fpv big mac antenna i'll try to put some links down below you're going to get a much better reception so let's go ahead and give some final thoughts all right guys welcome back from the flight test the larva x seems to have a really good tune on here and let's talk about the tune the durability the flying aspect of this quad and uh, my overall score rating for the larva x now, when I first heard that this one was coming out, I thought, oh, well, here comes another version of the Sailfly X. It looks a little bit lighter. Uh, it, it has the Runcam 2, on, 2 Nano on here that I really like. I actually prefer this one over the Cadex Turbo EOS 2. The Cadex Turbo EOS 2 seems to have that kind of a, um, kind of a warm, too warm, a rich red in that camera. And this one seems to be more well balanced. So if you're looking to outfit a micro out there, I'm going to suggest that you use the Runcam Nano 2. Seems to be a better camera. Um, now I also like the VTX one here, that it does have a smart SD card, micro SD card option on here to record your videos. And the 200 milliwatt really did get me out there quite a ways. Um, the tune on here, I would say, is about 80% good, um, right above about 90, like 80 to 90% throttle. In the hard turns, it does start to wobble and shake a little bit and shudder. Um, that might be because of these larger props on here, the prop wash that it's going through. But I was able to trip up the flight controller, so you need to know that. Um, I will share my Betaflight CLI dump down below for you guys because honestly, um, they had some things set in here inside Betaflight 
from the factory that needs to be changed. Like motor stop was on, so that means that when your throttle stick goes down to zero, you get zero throttle in the props and your quad will tumble backwards. And that happened to me on the first flight. 30 seconds into the flight, I treat it. Yeah, I had to go to Lowe's and spend about $40 on a cherry picker to get this quad out of the tree. So um, beware of that when you get this in the mail. First thing you need to do is make sure air mode is active and turn off motor stop. We haven't been using motor stop since probably 2014. Um, so make sure you do that. Plus when you arm the quad, it lets you know that the motors are armed and disarm, they're going to come to a stop. So I think that it's a fairly durable frame. I did bang this one around quite hard. And I think these props are probably some of the most durable micro brushless props out there in the micro brushless kingdom. The Avon Rush props are just like, I mean, these would be the skateboard wheels of micro brushless props. You can bang these to the end of the day and they will still fly. And the tune does handle a little bit of scratch and dent on these props. Um, so you, you have some good props that come along in the box. You can also try the HQs that came along in the box as well. But my preferred prop of choice on this quad is the Avon Rush. So I have to say my overall feeling about this quad is that it's super fast, super nimble, and I found myself trying new things that I've never tried before. I was doing um, battery bumps on the top of the fence out there in the field and trying to kind of perch on top of this light pole, playing around with this quad. It's super light and you can get away with a lot because of the power system on here. The power to weight ratio is really, really nice. So you have a durable quad here, um, one with a, a fairly good tune on it as well and um, something that you're really gonna have fun on on two to three S. My preferred battery today was the 3S 300 milliamp battery, um, getting me just under three minutes flight time. And uh, if you want more flight time, you can add all the way up to a 550 on this quad and still fly a 550 milliamp. Get a little bit longer cruising time if you're looking for that. But thanks again for watching this review. Um, I'm gonna rate this quad at about a 4.8 out of five. So this one does score pretty high, taking a couple points off. Um, for just a, maybe a modest tune on here. It could be a little bit better, but I think overall they did a good job on the production version of this quad. So uh, if you're looking to fly the production version, go ahead and snap one up at the link below. Um, you're not going to regret the purchase on one of these. It's pretty damn awesome. I'm Justin Davis, guys. Take care. Be well. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you on the next one.